Well, here we are. We're out at Bald Eagle State Park. It's about 7.35 and guys are allowed to start fishing at 7.30. We've had a really good turnout today. Uh, this lake is known for lots and lots of fish, but mostly small fish. Uh, and to make it even more challenging, there's a state imposed size limit of nine inches on crappies and seven inches on bluegills. So a lot of people are going to be catching a lot of fish that are short by a quarter inch. Uh, but we had a very good turnout this morning for our second tournament of the year. And we'll be talking to some guys later on. And it's snowing lightly, has been for a while. And hopefully it's going to be a good day. Now Robert's getting ready to start here. Have you guys, have you guys caught a fish yet? Oh, just getting set up. Getting set up, okay. That's good. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice little pop-up you got there. That'll keep the snow off you, huh? Yeah, and it'll keep the wind down too pretty good. Okay. Well, good luck today, and we'll check back in with you guys later, see how you're making out. Well, thank you. You do these for what? You've been for what? Okay, now we're coming up on John Butler, known as John T. And his partner, Mike Conway. And now I, Mike, I watched you just a second ago and you, I saw you catch one anyway. That was the second one of the day. That was the second one, keeper, second keeper? No, it was close. Okay, but. It was pushing nine inches, but we don't, we want something bigger. Okay, do you have any in the bucket yet? Yeah. You got one in the bucket. You got one in the bucket, okay. Yeah. And one short one. Are you, are you marking many fish here on your Vexlar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, I do. Let's go over here and see how John's doing. I, I watched John catch one. He's one of our he's one of our regular tournament guys. Actually, John, I think you've fished every tournament we've had so far, haven't you? Yeah, I haven't missed one. Every, Open water and ice fishing. Yep. Well, we certainly appreci appreciate the loyalty. I and I, I watched you catch one. Was it, was it a short one or? No, it was a good one. It was a keeper size one. Yep. Okay. And I'm looking at your Vex screen there. I can see your jig. Are you, are you marking fish there? Yeah. They're a little finicky this morning. A little finicky, yeah. Well, we'll check in with you a little later. Okay. As always, good luck. Yep. Okay, now we're going to come up on Donald Whitmer here. He has the look of concentration on his face. I'm trying. How are we making out so far? A lot of undersized crap. I, I, I saw you catch a couple. Yep. You're into the numbers. Yep. You have any in the bucket yet? Nope. Okay. Yet. Well, keep it's sorting. Early. Keep sorting through them. I see. You, I see you already have this area pretty Swiss cheesed up. So it's gonna get you're worse. just. It's going to get worse. You're going <laughs> to keep keep using the Jiffy propane here until you until you find keeper sized fish. Let's talk to your partner over here. Morning. Greg Weigel here. He's happy. Not in the shack yet. No. You guys don't like to fish in the shack unless you absolutely have to, do you? Pretty much. A little, yeah. bit, little bit more mobile being outside. Are you, are you getting a lot of fish? A bunch of small ones. A bunch of small ones. That seems to be the theme so far. Normal. But, you know, it only, it only takes, might only take one big one. You never know. You never know. And now we're going to come up on Ron Garrison. He's, he's, he laughs when I say his name. It's because he's, he's, it's because he's happy to see me. Yeah, it's been years. He's, he's fishing with uh, John Comstock today 
for some reason, people must not like John very much. He seems to change partners a lot. Yep. I don't know. I like John. I think John's a swell guy. You should fish with him. I should fish with him. And then, you'll <laughs> then, then I'll understand. understand. Then I'll understand. Okay. Now I just I just saw you catch a perch. Mm -hmm. uh, now there's no size limit on the perch in this lake. There's a size limit on the crappies and the bluegills. And I know that perch looked awful small to me, but that was from a distance. So I, I have to ask, small. did did he go in the bucket? No. He didn't. We're not even we're not even gonna try to work on a twelve fish limit off the bat. I guess we should have. We're gonna wait until he we're gonna wait until we catch some bigger ones. We'll let John catch them. Here's He's John. John has one on now. Let's let's see what a typical bald eagle state park pan fish looks like. Oh yeah. Well, that, that that this this seems to be the uh this seems to be the the Yes, the picture of the day right there. Okay. But you know, John is an experienced tournament fisherman, so my guess is that since that's the only one he has right now, it's going to go in the bucket. Every ounce counts. Every ounce does count, you know. He's seven inches. Well, seven inches is one inch better than six inches. Then we're coming up on Ron Wagner. Ron Wagner took first place at Rose Valley two weeks ago on our tournament there. How are we making out today, Ron? A couple small ones. A couple small ones. Okay, you fishing by yourself today? Yes. Okay. One of the nice things about the Northeast Panfish League is you don't have to keep the same partner for all the tournaments. So that makes it sort of nice. Okay. Well, good luck, Ron, and we'll talk to you a little bit later when you have a big 12 fish limit. <laughs> Thanks. You got to hang on to that point sleeve that you have going on. See, now here's someone that failed to bring their coffee mug with them to put water into a bucket. And my guess is they just caught a fish that they need to keep alive for the weigh-in. So they're getting water out with their ice skimmer. And you'd be amazed at how many people I see doing that, just so you know you're not the only one. Yeah. How are we making out? Good. We just put two on the ice. You just put two on the ice? Were they one, keeper size? Yeah, one crappie and one bluegill. Both keeper size? Yep. Okay, well that's very good. So, just like that, it changes. It does, it does. You know, I, I always tell people when it gets to be 11, 30, 12 o'clock and I only have an hour left to fish, I always tell people it takes literally five minutes to pull a limit through the hole, you know? He got, he got a bluegill and I got a crappie, just okay. like that. Well, that's good. It's a good way to start the day. It is a good way to start the day. Congratulations. Here we have a, a family affair going on here. This is John Gerber. Uh, who, po point to who you're with here. I'm with uh, my Uncle Jim Nath. Okay, your Uncle Jim is right there in the red. Mm -hmm. Okay, and on the other side of them? On the other side of them, uh, the, the person in the orange hat is his son, Danny Nath. Okay. And then his partner is my son, Mitchell. Kirk. Your son, Mitchell. Okay. Well, that's good. That's what we like to see. <laughs> are, you, are you having any luck so far? Uh, we caught one legal crappie. One, one keeper crappie? Yep. Okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you right now, that's as good as anybody else is doing. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people are reporting a lot of short fish. Yeah. Are, you, are you marking a lot of fish on the flasher? Uh, it was hit and miss as soon as I come here, yeah. And then now it's pretty slow. I have to move. I notice you're using these, uh, those HT rods with the real sensitive tips. You like yeah, them? I really like them, yeah. Do you? Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive rods, but you see an awful lot of guys use them because they have that. They're tough, too. They're really, yeah, yeah they're durable and. They have that real sensitive tip that a lot of guys like, but they still have the backbone to right. pull up heavier fish. Yep. Okay, well, listen, good luck, John, and we'll catch up with you a little bit later today. All righty. Okay, and here we are, Ernie. Hi, Ernie. Byron. Give me your last name again. Wilt. Wilt. See, I knew that. <laughs> I'm just terrible with names. And anyway, you took a, you took first place at second, second, place, second place, second place at Rose Valley two weeks ago. So we know you know how to catch fish. Once how, in a while. how are we making out today? Lots of shorts. Lots of shorts. Yeah. That's that seems to be the that seems to be the theme for the day is lots of shorts. Got now I I remember at, at Rose Valley when you were catching fish like crazy. I interviewed you. You had a little boom box with some disco going. It's about some rap. To turn on. Some rap, and you said the reason you were catching fish is because of the rap music. Uh, absolutely right. It's about I don't, it's I don't, wrong. I don't think that rap music is a favorite of ice fishermen across the country. I don't think that's the most popular. I, my guess would probably be country or classic rock, but uh, 
But I, I watched you catch a whole bunch of fish two weeks ago while you were listening to your rap. So I, who am I to, who am I to say no? And I, I'm curious to come back later and hear if we hear music and see if you're catching fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on here, but let you get All back right. into your dry yeah. little shack here. And good luck to you. Hope they get a little bigger. Well, I hope they get bigger too. Okay, now I'm here with Greg Martin. Greg Martin is the owner president of Northeast Panfish League uh, and he plays a lot of different roles including he'll be the one editing this video so if you like the way this video is done you can thank him at some point. <laughs> Greg why did you uh, why did you choose this lake uh, Bald Eagle State Park uh, to have a tournament on? Well first of all as far as the state goes it's one of the most popular panfish lakes around and it is a panfish enhancement lake uh, where the crappie have to be nine inches or bigger to keep and uh, you're allowed a maximum of 20 of those a day. And uh, the bluegill uh, have to be, any sunfish actually, have to be seven inches or larger and 20 of those per day. Uh, the, the lake is very populated with fish. Uh, there is a lot of average fish in here, eight and three quarters to nine inch range. And uh, there is big fish in here, uh, including uh, uh, jumbo perch as well. So it's a very, very popular area for, for uh, anglers to come and bring their kids to, to catch a lot of fish, you know, not necessarily to keep, but to uh, just to have a good time. Okay. So uh, this, we have a pretty good t turnout here today. A lot of guys out there fishing. And I know just about everybody I talked to so far today is at least catching a few fish. Uh, how's the series overall going? The series going pretty well. I mean, it seems it, it, it seems, seems we're growing at each. It does. Uh, you know, starting to catch you on the words getting out. Um, uh, it's it's uh, set up for enjoyment for for the teams. You know, for the for the people to come out, and we encourage locals to come out each time, uh, try it out. Uh, but it's something we can do year round as well. Uh, you know, it's a dual series, uh, both ice fishing and open water. Well, you had you had Love mentioned the uh, you had mentioned like some of the locals fishing, and uh, and that's one thing I noticed here today. I mean, we have some guys here that have fished all across the ice belt from you know Michigan to Vermont and Pennsylvania, and they're here today. But we also have some guys that this is their first time fishing a tournament, and they're literally live two or three miles away. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, it, it's it's you know it's not set for uh, specifically a pro or an amateur. Everybody's welcome. Uh, you know, including. Uh, uh, father or uncle and you know their uh, son uh, or kids in, in general uh, it's it's an, a learning experience as well for for most of the anglers uh, some of these a lot of these teams actually have never really tournament fished here today that I see uh, or at least not much and uh, just watching some of the the uh, pro anglers out here they're going to learn a lot so you know uh, it's not just not just uh, just for fun but you know it's for the experience as well okay okay well we're gonna go talk to some more fishermen out here today and uh we've been at it for a couple hours now we'll we'll see how they're doing now we're gonna come up and we're gonna check in with Iceman Clem now those of you who fish our tournaments regularly will recognize Clem because I think he's been in every tournament we've had so far this year but today he had to cut out work early uh, so he decided to come out and help us set up in the morning a little bit and uh, then do a little bit of fishing himself here before he has to leave Harry how, how are you doing for not for not being in the tournament Clem how are you doing doing real well You're doing real well why not I'm not in the tournament <clears throat> yeah that's pretty much what I, I sort of thought that to myself when I was walking up to you I said well you know he's not in the tournament this time which means it's probably be his best day of fishing he's gonna have all year are you have you caught anything of any size? I've caught some nice bluegill and a nice perch. Some nice bluegills and a nice perch. What's a what's a nice perch in this lake? Uh, I just sent a perch out there that's about uh, nine and three quarter inches long. Okay, almost ten inches, which uh, on a lot of lakes might not be a nice perch, but on this lake, I can tell you that's about as nice as I've seen so far today. Uh, well, anyway, we're sorry you're not in the tournament today, but we're glad you're out here having fun and catching some fish. I'm a nice fisher. And as we continue on here, we're gonna come up to Kyle and Cody. It was Cody. Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm terrible with names. You know that. How are you guys making out? Well, we're not making out too bad. Uh, we got about six in the bucket. About 
six in the bucket. Are you getting crappies or bluegills or perch? It wasn't legal. A couple of perch and a couple of decent bluegill. A couple of decent Nothing bluegills? Closer, but they're legal, so they're okay. going in the bucket. Okay. Well, as I've said before to other people, that seems to be the theme of the day is you're getting a lot of smaller fish. But everybody seems to be catching fish. Uh, I haven't talked to anybody yet. I'll give you a heads up. It's been doing really great. Right now we're so, shooting for we want 12 in the bucket. 12 in the bucket. If we know 12 in the bucket... After that, we'll worry about later. That's what. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, listen. Good luck to you. And uh, if we don't talk to you before, we'll see it weighing. Thank you. You're in here staying warm. Well, something like that. Oh. And how have you been making out? Oh, been, not too bad. Light hits. Are you, you and your partner? Are you are you both catching about the same, or? Yeah. Or are you are you catching all the fish while he's standing out here? <laughs> Talking I wish about. that was the case. <laughs> it's pretty even right yeah. now. It's, it's a team effort, so that's all that counts. Absolutely. Okay, well listen, good luck to you guys. Thanks. So you remember earlier today we interviewed Ron Wagner a little bit. He took first place at Rose Valley Lake last week. and Today he's fishing the tournament by himself. You know, and as you could see a second ago, Everybody is sort of in the same area here. Way out there all by himself, that little red dot out there, that's Ron Wagner. So we're gonna, we're gonna make our way out there, we're gonna see how he's doing, we're gonna bug him a little bit more. Uh, but I know he's moving and he's gonna be a contender no matter what happens today. Uh, because I know he's gonna keep moving and moving until he finds fish. Well, you know, we finally got out here to Ron Wagner, that is. And he has a series of holes here. You can tell he sort of worked his way out here and he looks like he has about 20 holes drilled here. And well, there he has a fish. He's starting to find some fish. We'll see if it's a keeper. I know there's a lot of short fish in this lake. Well, that one's gonna be, I don't know. It's gonna be borderline here, but I'm sure Ron's prepared to measure the fish. Aha, little crappy bucket. Not big enough to keep it. That's okay. He's going to drop that jig right back down there. And see if he can get another one out. Maybe a little bit bigger this time. You know, and that's one of the things that separates the regular tournament guys. By regular, I mean guys that fish a lot of tournaments. Because they don't stay in an area if they're not catching the fish they want to catch. I don't know how Ron will do today. And we'll find out at weigh-in. But I know he's going to keep moving and trying to find fish right up until the very end. And uh, I know he's covered a lot of water today. Looking for some decent fish. And... And we're not going to hold him up with a bunch of questions. We're just going to wish him good luck, and we'll see you at weigh-in, Ron. I've been working a ton in this hole, but... So now we're coming back up onto Donald Whitmer and Greg Weigel, who's inside the clam trapper there. Uh, we talked to them earlier today, and a minute ago I was talking to Ron Wagner, and I was talking about how, you know, guys that fish a lot of the tournaments, and they sort of have a system down, and... I know uh, Donald and Greg here, they've also moved out of the crowd area. They're starting to move out here into deeper water. I presume trying to find some fish that, trying to pick up some bigger fish. Is that the goal here, what you're doing by moving out here? Exactly. Has it been working? Not yet. <laughs> Not... Marking a bunch, but they're just looking at it. They won't you're hit it. Marking a bunch of fish, but. Here they come on the screen again. Yeah, I can see some fish there. Just a, it's a tough bite today. Well, you know, there's still plenty of time left. Let's see what what Greg's doing in here. Greg's busy. We don't know what he's doing, actually. He's coming out. He's going to come out and say hello to us. Hi. Switch your colors. Uh-oh. He was up for a uh, change on the plastics on his jig head. That'll put some fish on the ice. Okay, we're continuing on here. We're talking to people. Don't let me stop you. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing. But they have a different idea here. Instead of running around drilling holes and looking for fish, they're going from hole to hole that's already out here, dropping their transducer down and looking for fish because it's starting to get late in the morning here and there's probably 
several hundred holes already drilled out here since most of the people are fishing in this area did we mark a fish just like that so you guys you guys have some you've been catching a few let's have a look Ooh. well i'll tell you that's uh that's as nice as any other bucket I've seen so far. And that might actually be the nicest crappie I've seen so far. That was all, all you? Yep. Okay, well good for you. Thank you. Do you, do you have do you have twelve fish yet? Not yet. Not yet, and that's that's what we need to do, don't we? We need to get to that twelve fish. We'll get them. Okay. Well, you got time and I'm gonna leave you alone so I don't interrupt you or break your level of concentration, but uh, good luck and we'll see you at the weigh in. Now we're back up here with Ernie. We talked to him this morning, Ernie Wild, our second place finisher on Rose Valley last week, and he just confided in me that it's going to be embarrassing at weigh-in. <laughs> is, it, is it really that bad, Ernie? It's that bad. Little fish. Little fish. Little yeah, I can't get any, any of any good size. Let me tell you are, you, are you putting a limit together? Yeah, we have a limit. But... Well, if you have a limit, I think you might be surprised. They're, uh, they're tough to come by. Tough yeah. To yeah, well, it's definitely going to be a uh, it's definitely going to be a tournament that's going to be won by a hundredth of an ounce. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a close call. But I'll tell you honestly, I haven't been seeing many. I haven't been seeing many decent fish at all, or I've been seeing decent fish, but I really haven't been seeing any big fish. I was hoping somebody so. was getting them because we're not. No, well, don't hope somebody else gets them. Yeah. yeah. It's all about having fun for me. I, if we win, it's a bonus. That's a good attitude to have. Sorry. Okay, well listen, good luck and we'll see it weigh in. Thanks. Okay, and we're gonna come up here. We're gonna talk to Russ. Russ is fishing by himself today because his partner hurt himself ice skating last night, I was told. Uh, and it's tough fishing by yourself. We were just sitting here talking about it. It's you gotta do twice as much work for half the fish that two of you would be able to catch. But but you have you told me you have eight in there mostly bluegills and there's a perch in there that's actually one of the nicer perch i've seen so far today even though i wouldn't say it's big but uh do you fish this lake a good bit russ um i used to whenever i was younger um i don't fish it too much anymore but i kind of know you know little ins and outs about it so it's a nice little lake to come to and catch a lot of fish it is it is and so far today the weather's been nice and it's a nice day so well, anyway, good luck to you, and we'll see you at the weigh-in. Right, thanks. Well, guys are still out there fishing. We're getting close to the weigh-in, so me and Greg are back here setting everything up for the weigh-in. Be interesting to see what guys did and how well they how well they did on the fish and. We just have way too much stuff here and we're lucky because we have a lot of really great sponsors that give us a lot of stuff to hand out as prizes at the tournament and we put some of that stuff back for our banquet at the end of the year uh, which we hope to be a very popular event we plan on having some seminars and a lot of product display and some good food good drink and good friends so I uh, hope everybody can make it to the banquet. But in the meantime, we'll keep getting things set up here and wait for people to start filtering their way back in here. Well, we're getting into crunch time now. We got we got about an hour to go. In the tournament. And uh, the fishing has slowed down for a lot of the guys out here. Uh, again, there's some teams that are still like working really hard at it. And I think I say this just about every video I make, but I always tell people it only takes five minutes to pull a limit up through the hole if you, if you all of a sudden get on a school. So, way out there in the horizon there, I don't know if we can even see him on the video, but that's Ron Wagner. I interviewed him earlier. He was out there moving, and he's still moving every couple minutes. I'm watching him. I presume he's picking up fish out there, uh, out away from the crowd, but... Like I said, I've been watching him. He's been moving every couple of minutes, fishing by himself. I know that's what he's trying to do. Spin around here. Right there. Again, out there, about as far as you can see, there's a 
there's John Comstock and Ron Garrison that I was talking to earlier. And they seem to keep moving a little bit. They've been in that same area for quite some time now, but they're still moving around constantly looking for fish. You know, on the other hand, I just talked to somebody a couple minutes ago, and him and his partner only caught one fish all day, uh, but they're still in the same spot they were this morning. And, you know, one of the things I think I truly believe, and so do most other tournament fishermen, is that, you know, if you haven't caught a fish in five minutes, you got to move. You know, if fish aren't going to come to you, you got to, you got to go find the fish. Uh, anyway, we'll continue on here for just a little bit before we get to the weigh-in and see how guys are doing. We're back with Colby now. We talked to him a little bit earlier. And they were moving around looking for fish, and he tells me they've now managed to pick up a limit. He doesn't seem real excited about the size of them, but either does anybody else. So a limit... Limit is a step in the right direction. What do you What are you using there, Colby? Uh, plastics. Plastics on a on a uh, tungsten head. Yep. yep. Okay. Well, it seems to be working for you. And hopefully, you'll get into a couple big ones. I think you still got about an hour yet to go. Maybe a little bit longer, actually. But I think we're down to the final hour. So I'm watching you moving around quite a bit, and looking for fish. So. Hopefully you find that school. Yeah, now it's getting that, that nicer one to replace some of those little ones. Yeah, when you can get a get one that's ten inches instead of nine inches, you've you're moving up by two one hundredths of a pound. Yeah. Okay. Well good luck to you and we'll move on here. Now we come across the guys that have the right idea. They saw me walking across the lake and they hollered for me to come on over because they knew I was hungry. What do we got? Frank's. Yeah. Where's the sauerkraut? No sauerkraut. You can only manage so much. Okay. Well, nevertheless, I think you have the right idea. How's the fishing been today? Decent. Decent. Are you guys catching anything with size? Well, yeah, well, that seems to be the theme of the day is fish, but lots of small fish. Okay, well, anyway, good luck to you guys. Right. Enjoy your meal there. Again, we have a Bunch of good stuff to give away from our sponsors here just for little prizes just for showing up <clears throat> little incentive for people uh like i said we're lucky to have some of these good sponsors that help us out and give us stuff that we can in turn give back to the fishermen we also have some hats and t-shirts there and stuff uh 
Wrigglings Outdoors is one of our local sponsors of this event, and they stopped by to drop off some little rods and reels and some lure packets, some little ice fishing packets. Uh, very generous to them. We certainly appreciate them. Uh, they're in Howard, which is fairly close to the lake here. If you in the area get a chance, stop by and visit them. Uh, we have plaques for first, second, third place, and then the trophy you're looking at right here, that's actually going to be the trophy for the Angler of the Year. Or we have two trophies if it happens to be a team that takes the Angler of the Year. A little bluegill mounted on the top there. It looks pretty cool. There will be a brass nameplate with the winner's name and year engraved on the front of it. Uh, you know, and I think we got about 15, 20 minutes to weigh in until everybody has to be back here. People are out there fishing, getting in the last couple of seconds they can, trying to find some fish. You know, one of the things people ask me when I'm videoing this is why I only show a couple of the fishermen. And, well, I try to do a pretty good job of covering everybody. I try to give everybody a chance to be on the video. But, uh, honestly, I am partial to some fishermen. And that's because I know that they're very good fishermen. And uh, Even in the morning, before they've caught a fish, I pretty much know that they're going to bring good fish to the weigh-in and I think those are the fishermen that people can learn from you know some of the guys that are out here today uh, are from far away and have never fished this lake before it's just that they're very good fishermen on any body of water at all in the country and they're the traveling ice fishermen who fish a lot of different water and they understand the fish and those are the fishermen that we can all learn from you know if you watch them in this video or come out here and talk to them on the ice they're a wealth of information you know, and that's that's one of the reasons I tend to show a few fishermen, and, and it might seem like the same ones over and over again, but that's because they're the ones that always seem to find the fish and somehow make the fish bite. And You know, if it's their first time fishing this lake and they can do that, you have to stop and wonder what it is they're doing that makes them succeed the way they do. Okay, well, here we are, everybody gathering back in for way in here. <laughs> Guys, leave, leave your fish here at the little fish station here. I know we're going to have a lot of fish to weigh in. It's going to be a busy way, and I think, I think most people did pretty good. We don't know about size yet. I think big fish is going to be small as far as big fish go. But <coughs> we can certainly see here, just from looking around, it, there's some fish here. There's, there's, no, there's fish, nice there. there's fish, there's some nice fish in here. So we'll get started here in a couple minutes. John Butler. <laughs> Take your pick up there. You get prime pick of what you, what you need. You get the draw. That wind has picked up a little bit here, like it always does it way in time. But it's still been a pretty nice day. And so you think you might do this again? Oh, yeah. I was, we were worried when we first got here. It was the first time. The first one we ever went in, and I don't want to go in and get embarrassed. I said, if we're respectful, we'll try it again. And we came in. You came in second, right? Second, yeah. That, you know, that's not a bad little hunk of chain. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but no, it's no, not a lot. But, but I mean, they forced, they forced so, to come up. So, so, so now let me ask: If you had finished fifth, would you have still? Oh yeah. Come up that's, and do it again. That's respectable, yeah. I, okay. I, I, okay. I didn't want to come Probably in here. Top, and, yeah. 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 top ten, yeah. I would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. Doing some more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I always say somebody has to win, but somebody has to lose, and yeah. sometimes there's some really good fishermen that just don't Scott don't put it together. So. Have, uh, Come on down. You have papers and stuff like that for all the tournament locations and stuff. Yeah, or, it's also nepfish.com. Well, this, this is actually right. ours. We need oh, but I'll get you a, I'll get you a card. I don't know if we actually have a list of all tournaments. Those on, Jiffy uh, hats. These are whole packets. Are you on? Uh, you're online, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everybody I don't think is. Uh, Here, Scott, you need to draw somebody else's name out here. You got two there. Yep. Leonard Stroud. 
You know, those of you that are wondering why Donald Whitmer here in the orange shirt is standing in Now, if any of you guys of want here, cleats and you don't have your size here, just let me know. I have more in boxes It's because here. he's actually so holding his foot down on the way intent to keep it from blowing away. George Hazard. I'm not sure. <laughs> Everything from actually here down to that pink rolling. There you go. Come on up, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Give it to him for a birthday present. What size you need? There's a short side. Yeah, just that guy. All right, here, hold on. Gage, where you at? There you are. JT Lamy, come on up. The both of us. You have to sit on it. No, him and I were. Is that right? <laughs> we put the plates over. <laughs> there you go. Got your own name out. We were sweating. It's mine. Steve Barry? Oh, Zane. Um, no, that is. is. Wait a minute. Now, yeah, Steve looks like. Is that your dad? Okay. Nobody wants this pink rod. There's a turn on the side. Yeah. We were 11, you were large, Jim. Yeah, right there. And here comes our local Fish Commission Law Enforcement personnel. And they're loaded up, and I'm going to ask them if I can ask them a couple questions. Oh, he's still right behind you with the camera. Yeah, I thought, I thought John T. was taking pictures of the big fish. That's why. I was I was busy talking to other people. That's a big crappy the tournament. What did it weigh? What did it weigh, Ron? 0 0.88. 0 0.88. What did your big crappy weigh two weeks ago at Rose Valley? 2.05. 2.05. <laughs> so it was basically two and a half of that. Yeah, don't do the math. Just say yes. Yep. Okay. Well, that's a nice fish. Congratulations. There's first place winners with their check and their plaques. Here's every everybody. We're gonna get everybody lining up here that took first, second, and third has little plaques or trophies. Oh, oh. oh you All right. First, second, third. There we go. Yeah, you gotta grab the check. He likes that big check. Show your wife. That's my favorite part. <laughs> What'd you say, Ron? Don't show your wife. Show your wife. That's it. <laughs>
I didn't get that footage. That sucked. That was good footage.